Good morning, church family. Let me tell you a story. Once there was a grandmother taking her 15-year-old grandson to play golf. It was a beautiful day, and they were having a wonderful time. And about the fifth hole, the grandson kind of hit the ball a little to the left of the fairway, and there was an oak tree directly in his path. Grandmother said to him, You know, when I was your age, I was able to hit the ball right over that oak tree, no problem at all. So the grandson reared his club back, and with all his might, he gave it a mighty swing, and that ball bounced off the trunk, ricocheted off a few branches, and landed three feet in front of him. He said, Grandma, how in the world were you able to hit that ball over that great big oak tree? The grandmother laughed and said, well, like I said, when I was your age, that oak tree was about five feet tall. <laughs> Turns out, size, even small things, are more significant than we may think. Often it's the small things that are overlooked, and um, in, that is at least not until they become bigger that we really give them notice. Let me give you another example. Uh, we have wonderful neighbors. They've lived in our neighborhood about as long as we have, and their kids are about the same age as our kids, and they've all grown up together, and they've been best of friends. Well, sometime last year, my boys were going over to their house to play, and I was like, hey, where are you guys going? Oh, we're going to the neighbors. We're going to make a movie. And I thought, oh, cool. Good for you. Have fun. Well, a few weeks later, they come back to me, and they say, Dad, we want to show you the trailer. And I'm thinking, oh, a trailer. Was there a new Marvel, a new Star Wars movie coming out? Let's see the trailer. No, no, Dad, it's our movie. I'm like, oh, yeah, that movie you were making. You made a trailer. Cool. So they show me this, and it's 30 seconds. It's fast. It's fun. It's really cool. And I told them, hey, that was a great job. Thanks for sharing that with me. And I didn't think much of it until about last week. I get a ticket that says, you're invited to the premiere of low-budget Spider-Man. And I thought, oh, this little idea that they're gonna make a movie that turned into a trailer has become a, a real thing. So we go over to the neighbor's house, they have popcorn and soda and brownies, and we get our treats, they take our ticket, they usher us to our seats, turn on the surround sound, and for a half hour, we are traded to this amazing production of low-budget Spider-Man. And honestly, this movie had everything. Special effects, a killer soundtrack, cinematography, costumes, and best of all, a wonderful cliffhanger at the end that has me desperately anticipating the sequel. <laughs> and again, there I was an example of something small, something little, growing into something so much bigger than I would have ever foreseen or ever guessed. And what a wonderful time that was as family, as neighbors, to celebrate together over that little idea that those kids made into a big thing. Small things become significant, even when they're overlooked. Jesus knew this when he talks about the mustard seed. I wanted to show a mustard seed to you, but if I held it up and pinched it between my fingers, you wouldn't be able to see it from the distance. And even if you were up close, it would be lost in my grasp. It would be almost invisible. That's how tiny they are. And Jesus says, with what can we compare the kingdom of God or with what parable will we use for it? It's like a mustard seed, which when sown on the ground is the smallest of all the seeds on earth. Yet when it's sown, it grows up and becomes the greatest of all shrubs and puts forth large branches, large branches so the birds of the air can make their nests in its shade this tiny seed that can cover fields with mustard plant. And if left on its own, it could be wider and taller than anything you could hit your golf ball over. What a beautiful image of God's kingdom. And yet, as I was getting my thoughts together for this morning, I couldn't ignore the fact that good things start small and become big. But unfortunately, so do bad things. Suffering, pain, problems grow to the size that seem like mountains. But Jesus reminds us that even if we have faith, the tiniest bit of faith, that mustard seed size faith, we can tell those mountains to move and they'll move. And even if it's not as quick or in the way that we want them to, God's grace is still bigger than all our mountains of trouble put together. And God's kingdom, like that mustard tree, is big enough for all of us. It invites all of us. It shelters all of us. And even though it started tiny, God's grace is everlasting. Starting small, like a baby in a cattle stall. Talk about a low-budget production. 
but it grew into the most amazing, wonderful thing any of us could ever hope or imagine. And it's ours now and forever. Amen.